This is lesson three, the 40 minute running start. And we're gonna create and modify this part right here. All right, so we already finished uh, lesson two, basic functionality. And um, in order to create this part, uh, what we can do is we go and we do our tutorials. So we're looking for SolidWorks. 2016, 2016, 64 edition. If we, if we go to our class uh, website, you'll see it says SolidWorks Student Workbook. So here you have uh, the Student Workbook. You can download this and use it. Uh, we also have SolidWorks Video Tutorials. And if you click on that, you'll see you come to a SolidWorks.com uh, website where lesson one parts is also uh, videos these are all videos on how to create uh, this part which is being described in this video um, right here so we have SOLIDWORKS open and uh, we're going to do a, a new part and uh, what we want to do here is we want to go under help and SOLIDWORKS tutorials. And we're looking at lesson one parts. Uh, it takes 30 minutes to do this step by step. So um, uh, we come in here and it's telling us how to start uh, new, uh, which we already did, and how to save it, which we should already know how to do it. Uh, creating the base. So uh, we want to uh, look at the front plane and we want to uh, sketch a rectangle and we want to go right off the middle part here and we want this to be uh, smart dimensioned 120 millimeters by 120 millimeters and then we're going to um, So here we have it here. And we're going to set the uh, depth to uh, 30. So we go under Features, Extrude Boss Base. And we want this to be 30 millimeters. All right. Uh, next thing we're going to do is we are going to uh, create a circle. So we're going to click on the front of this. Uh, we can do front view. Uh, click on the front. Click on sketch, sketch, circle. We want this circle to be centered. So we're going to find this point, drive these lines down, find this point, and there's our center. We're going to draw a circle right here. And we're going to smart dimension that to be 70. Seventy millimeters. And uh, this is going to tell us it wants us to um, smart dimension this uh, from here to the top. And it's already 60 because we already centered it at 60. So it's already centered uh, 60 from there to the top and from the side to the center is all already 60 already so we already have these dimensions in there uh, now what it's going to tell us to do we can do that dimensions features extrude boss base uh, we can hit the uh, what we want to do is kind of look at it at a uh, isometric view and uh, it says that we want our depth to be 25 25 millimeters green check mark all right so we have uh, we have this shape right here uh, next thing we need to do is put a hole in it all right so 
we're going to do uh, front front view. And um, we're going to create a circle. So we click on this sketch. And we look for our center, which is right here. So you can see I touch these corners here and the center shows up. So this is concentric. So we have this inside the middle. We're going to smart dimension this to be 50 millimeters. And then we want to uh, features, we want to do extrude cut. We want it to be through all. So now I'm going to do an isometric view again so we see what we have here. So you can see we have uh, this condition through all. We got it all set there. So uh, next thing we want to do is we want to create fillets, uh, five millimeter radius. So we come over to our fillet and um, we want this to be five millimeters before we get started. Five. And we're going to click on that. We want to see full preview so we see it getting uh, rounded out. So I got these four on the outside, and then it says do these also. So I could have I could have easily rotated this this around, and then this is five here. And then I hit OK. Uh, so if I do the arrows, I could I could have gone around and click the corners. Now, uh, the top edge here on both these sides is going to be uh, 1.5. So we uh, go ahead and go back to our flat and we change this to 1.5. Oh, it's a comma. Back point 1.5. I'm going to click here and there. And then hit OK. All right. So I'm going to hit File, Save As. And um, this is called Part 1. So we'll, we'll leave it as Part 1. I have my DDP folder. If you already have a Part 1, we can, we can call this Camera. C-A-M, Camera. All right, let's call it Camera. Save. All right, so next, uh, this is this is just explaining everything I just did with the with how to set the flats. All right, so now we're going to turn it around and we're going to shell it. So uh, I could hit back or I can just flip it around like that so we see a nice uh, view like this. So I'm going to click on this view and then I'm going to click on shell. And it says uh, set the parameters to two millimeters. Two. So I hit show preview. I didn't don't have to do that, but and there, that's that's all shelled. Um, we're looking at our basically just different views, isometric views, uh, flip it around. You can look at what's in there, section views. All right, so there we, we did that, all right? So file, save. Okay, let's see uh, what they're going to ask us to do here is uh, they're asking us to uh, edit this. So this is uh, at 30 millimeters, and they want us to change it to 50 millimeters. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, and uh, this 
this one, Boss Extrude 1, is this part, our first part. So if you right-click on that and then come up to Edit Feature, then you'll see we could change this from 30 to 50. And this makes this larger. And then when we when we hit the check mark, it just made that larger, right? So it just it just changed it for us. So then we could hit file and then save. So now this is 50 millimeters instead of 30 millimeters. Uh, we can go through and we could edit um, our fillets also. So I had the uh, fillets here. We're at five millimeters, and it says to change it to uh, ten millimeters. So if I if I come up here to edit this and change that from five to ten, uh, you could see that it made it larger. All right. So now I have a larger one. So I change it from from five to ten. Then click OK. So this was all changed to 10 because I did this all together. So all that was changed to 10 millimeters. And it also tells you that we can uh, we can do things um, with our shading. For this, for this uh, shading and um, picking like chrome, stainless steel, what we have is under view, um, displays. Uh, we don't have the real view graphics here right now. So, but we can, we can do things. We can um, pick, edit the appearance here. And uh, we can pick a color, uh, say red. And you can see you can make it red or blue or purple or any of those. Or you can even texture it. Uh, different textures, um, and you could change the colors of those textures too. So we can go ahead and and make this uh, a color, and you could see that it puts it throughout the film. So congratulations, we've just completed uh, the first tutorial. Um, so that gives us. So that gives us that we've completed our getting started lesson one parts of SOLIDWORKS tutorial uh, that I just showed you how to do to answer these questions. And then this tells us um, calculating it, change, uh, this is 75, you want it to be 100. And it says go ahead and modify the part uh, like we just did so that the part depth is 100 millimeters instead of 75. So in keeping this 50. Uh, this part 50. So we want to change this uh, from 25 to 50. So we'll go back to our SolidWorks and that's our second extrude. And we click on that and do edit. And then you could see this was 25. So we can change that to 50 and go ahead and hit the check mark. So now that's out 50. So we can change those back if we want to change it back. So that's so that's what we do there, and uh, change the depth of the boss so that its overall part is 30, just 50, just like we said. Uh, then there's some math you have to do in here. Uh, this part it says uh, that we should measure a jewel case. So I have a jewel case, and I'll give you the numbers for that. Uh, we're going to have to create uh, that jewel case. Uh, and the storage, we're going to create those two parts, uh, make a model CD jewel case. So I'm going to do that right now. Uh, file new part. Open it up. And uh, sketch, we'll do our front plane sketch rectangle. And this is uh, very simple. So just to make a, a CD jewel case, 
get rid of that. Uh, we smart to mention this. Uh, this, my measurement is 140 millimeters. And one forty millimeters, and this one is a uh, hundred and twenty millimeters, and then our extrude is only five millimeters. So this is our our jewel case, all right? That's what we're created. So that's fine. Uh, so I created that. Now, in order to create this, you're going to have to figure this out for yourself. All right, so uh, what we have is we need to have a case that holds 25 uh, jewel cases, and the thickness is uh, one centimeter, so that's 10 millimeters. And we have to have, uh, there's clearance between the jewel case and the inside of 10 centimeters. So there's uh, 10 centimeters of clearance for all that. Um, so we have to get 25, take the measurements, that's five times 25, to have our overall uh, width. And then it has to have a depth of uh, 140 millimeters and a height of 120 millimeters you're going to uh, write down these measurements and then you're going to uh, fillet the corners and you're going to shell it uh, so that it only has a thickness of one centimeter and then you're going to make the box yourself you're going to create the cd uh, storage box uh, yourself uh, using that and then you could see that our uh, our explore task. There's a video you can go ahead and and, uh, and do that yourself. So there we are. We've completed this exercise. Now go ahead and you uh, make these boxes yourself.